Wow. <laughs> Not bad at all. Wow, that's beautiful. So we are a local based manufacturer so we're actually not a dealer we're, we're the actual boat manufacturer nice and we build them over in tampa so it's a it's a florida-based company very nice you guys have a skiff as well right, yes, or... right. That's right. oh that's the one i'm really interested in <laughs> so we got that, and we're building one for the florida skiff challenge out of all carbon fiber hell it yeah extremely light yeah. nice man We don't build anything stock, okay? Um, and because it's because of this type of um, This customer wanted forward seating, so we did forward seating. Uh, but he wanted, he wanted three piece back rest, so we did three piece back rest. Uh, you can do the full fiberglass leaning post, you can do an aluminum leaning post, which is a little smaller, gives you a little more space back here. Tackle center. Nice, that's cool. Yep. This is definitely like a family oriented setup. Yep. So, so you guys fish? Yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So there's gonna be those days where you get over sandbar, right? Yeah. You got your little cutting tray for your limes, you know? <laughs> a little wet bar, you know what I mean? It's so convenient. Then you got your, and I, and I and it. this, this slides out. Nice. So that you can get into it. Yeah. It doesn't have any weight in it, so it's hard to, hard to slide it all the way up, plus with the plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, Yep, you can actually use that as an, as an additional seat. And I like how you have all your storage here too. <laughs> so storage this side and this side. Wow. Dirty storage at that. Oh, and there's a drain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a 30 gallon live well in here. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, everything is every, everything drains. Um, all of the hardware is stainless steel. There's no plastic hardware. Everything is stainless. That's where I came in. So with, with being a... <laughs> So you go, we, we, we talk about functionality, right? So here's a skiff that has hatches that open this way so that when it's on the trailer, you can actually access it. Very nice. Because everybody else opens it this way. And you have to try and load and work around. That's true. It has opened yeah. this way. Mm -hmm. So if you're into fly fishing or want to get into these are, it. Are these all insulated? These, these are, yeah, these are all insulated. Beautiful, so, man. This, this has a tube that goes all the way forward, so you can fit the largest fly rod you want in here. If you're not into fly fishing, great place for dock lines. Very nice. Or, the way this customer spec it, he actually has had us put a tube back this way. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a small spinning reel with the small guides on it, you can run it this way and then back in and you can put a small spinning reel in there. That's beautiful, man. Okay. Your serviceability, you go with serviceability. Go on this side. So huge access to all your pumps, okay? Uh, and everything in here, so I can touch the pump, I can touch the pump, I can touch the pump, I can touch the fuel filter, I can touch the valve. I mean, everything is within arm's reach. I'm not even in, in it. My yeah. arm's halfway in. Um, all the pumps have waterproof Deutsch connectors. So you just unplug them, plug them back in, and you're done. Very nice. The live well in here is just like an offshore boat. It's pressurized, okay? Very nice. No standpipe, right? It's got a flow gate back here. So this flow gate cleans the entire water column 24 seven. Very nice. One of, one of the big things we yeah. didn't like is everybody's got a hatch underneath here, right? For storage, for your tackle and stuff. So if I'm sitting down and I'm tying something, and my buddy up front says, hey, can you get me a new jig head? Now I have to stand up to get this thing out here. There's nothing under the seat. Nice, perfect. All your tackle centers are right here. That is sick, man. Oh, if you notice, there's no... I love this. This is, you guys powder coated this yep. stuff? There's no visible hardware. No Very visible, nice. No man. screws, no visible hardware. Your, all your switches. Oh, it's hidden. All hidden back here. And they're functional. Your nav lights are the first thing. Everything else just pumps up top. All Very your nice. accessories on the bottom. When you're running, if you want to take your hat off, you've got a storage spot. You can open this up, it folds down, you can stick your hat in there while you're running and close it back up. Or if you need to store something, you can lift this up. That's sick. 
tank. That is sick, man. Now, 47 gallons worth of fuel in this car. Woo! Okay, so you can go anywhere you want with it. <laughs> you notice there's no windshield? We built this high enough. This is a 15 inch hummingbird. Yeah, it's a beast. It'll fit a 16 inch Simrad in it. Wow. And the wind breaks off the front of a console, so you don't need a windshield. Very nice, man. Frigid, rigid cooler. Now, normally, your fuel tanks are up here. Yeah. So you're limited on storage space. Total, total storage in here. All your batteries are here, so you don't have to be a contortionist to get, get them underneath the console. That is amazing, man. So that means that your fuel tank is in the floor between the stringers, just like an offshore boat would be.